And your name is? Jerry. Jerry. Jerry, what's your last name? Today we're going to take a look at one of the scariest people to ever appear on the show to catch a predator, Jerry Wayne Kosas. There's a lot that is apparent about this guy that we're going to be able to see fucking right away as soon as he opens up his mouth. I think he has some kind of learning disability or he's like disabled. He must be intellectually impaired in some way just because the way he talks, he talks like he's fucking fried. Or he talks like he's had a fucking half bottle of Xanax like an hour before. So, uh... Let's see if we can watch this and figure out a little bit more about one of the fucking weirdest people to ever appear on the show. Oh, he has the hyphenated last name. JM Coast. Yeah, I went through the chat log before and he puts his his chat, the, the name that he was using, his screen name, is just his fucking name. It's like JM Jerry Wayne Martin Kosis. So he puts everything right out there. You kind of have to... I mean, I'm always surprised, maybe I shouldn't be, but I'm always surprised when some of these fuckers just use their actual names and then, like, say and do the things that they do while using a screen name that is undeniably theirs. Like, they use a screen name that only someone with that name is likely to have, and then they say all this horrible, incriminating shit, and then they, like, are surprised when they get caught. It kind of blows my mind, like, these guys are fucking idiots. But obviously, I, I think I don't think anyone is going to be surprised by uh, some of the dumb shit that this guy is about to fucking do. Or at least we shouldn't do. Oh my god, look at his watch. Why is he swinging his arms like that? Dude. <laughs> look at him. He's like a little boy who's happy. He's so carefree. We can't really see. The footage is kind of grainy, um, and that's just par for the course for a lot of these uncut interviews. But we can't really take a good look at his face. But I think that it's fair to say that he has a pretty big fucking smile. Like, he's walking in like he's like he's on top of the world. And he feels like he's on top of the world. The chat log that he had with the decoy, I checked it out before. It was really fucking long. It was very long. And there was a lot of bullshit, just a lot of, like, like, not even at first like they didn't even talk immediately about sexual shit it was just extremely boring like the most boring fucking generic small talk that you can imagine that was what his chat log was and then of course it became sexual and then it became fucking disturbing and disgusting but it was a very long chat log so he thinks that he's just he thinks that he's finally met someone who he can really talk to who's gonna put up with all his fucking weird mannerisms so he's elated at this point i believe that he's very elated Look at him. He's happy. He's, he's almost like ruddy good. It's like he's, he's literally power walking. That's like power walking, bro. You're even swinging your arms. He looks up. No knock? Wow. Yeah, I think so. They must have had some kind of agreement where they're like, hey, just fucking, I'm going to leave the door open and just walk in. Uh, so it's kind of funny. And he says that inaudibly. Anybody home? He says that very quiet, so if someone was in the home, they're not going to fucking hear that. I th he might have just been saying that for himself. I don't think he was even saying that to actually get their attention. He was probably just saying that because it makes him feel better about walking in. Um, that's taboo in America. You don't just fucking walk into someone's house. Man, if you just fucking, if you walk into someone's house in America, like, you're going to get, if they have a gun, you might get fucking shot. Like, shot, like shoot first, ask questions later. Um, but... Like, the least that's going to happen is you're probably going to have someone fucking run up on you immediately if you walk into the wrong house. Like, you got to be careful. Especially here in California, man. People don't fucking play games. Hey, you got a workout today. Get <laughs> a workout. Say what? Say, I had a nice walk today. <laughs> Why do you interchange? Say what? Say, I had a nice little walk today. <laughs> he says he had a workout, then a walk. I guess you could call walk like I guess in a loose sense like walking is working out right but I think that when we say working out we imagine like 
going to the gym or engaging in an activity that is specifically designed for the sole purpose of exercising. That's what I think of when I think of like working out. Um, I guess you could say like something is a workout. Like if you're, if you're digging a bunch of fucking ditches, like if you're digging holes or something, you're like, fuck, like that was a workout. Like, yes, like you weren't trying to like activate your muscles, but you use them a lot. So, I mean, that makes sense. But for him to say this, dude, you just had a light walk. Like that's the farthest thing from a fucking workout that you could do. You got a workout today. Even if it was a power walk. I had a nice little walk today. You did? Where did you have to walk from? Damn. Oh, way, <laughs> way, way, way. Way, way. Why don't you come on over here and have a seat on the way, school way. Park, Sure. <laughs> way, way. Where did you have to walk from? <laughs> oh, way. And look at the pause. He's yeah. fucked. He, he, so this guy's running on like a fucking, I mean, he's running on like Windows 95 for his mind. He's so fucking slow. He's obviously slow. And like, I mean, just disclaimer, I wouldn't talk shit on someone who was like slow, who had a disability, who was intellectually impaired. But if you're a predator, um, you lose the right, you lose that basic uh, respect that I'm going to give you. I'm going to make fun of everything about you and uh, encourage others to do so. So I think we can talk shit on this guy. Yeah, he, there's something that is wrong with him, though. I think that he, apart from being stupid, I, he, he is likely to have some kind of learning disability um, in some sense. Where did you have to walk from? Oh, that's a pause it's like it's like he has to take a while just to fucking process he has like no ram in his brain he just like look he must just look at he must have looked at chris with the dumbest most fucking glazed over look in his life i don't even think that he was surprised i think well i don't think that he was surprised i don't think that he had a look of like <gasps> enlarged pupils like taken aback i think that he more had like a he just like turned to stone and like didn't really have any movement because it's like his fucking slow ass mind had to process what was going on. When Chris first comes out, it's like he just has to process it. He, he he can't just accept and process things quickly. He has to like really take his time to do so. Today, you did. It. Where did you have to walk from? Look, oh, all that time. So it's like, and he was. I don't think that he was thinking of a response. He was literally just trying to figure out what was happening. Just what is happening? And then he just said the first thing. Because obviously, way, way is, is nonsense. Like, that's not even a response. Way, way, way. <laughs> way, 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 way. Come on over here and have a seat on the stool. <laughs> what kind of answer is that? Dude, you're going to take all that time and then give the most fucking loose bullshit answer that you could possibly fuck give? That that gives nothing about how far he walked. Like, where is way, way, dude? Way, way, way is bullshit. Sure. Sure. Where did you walk from today? Oh, from, uh... Please sit down. Uh, Riverside. Riverside. Yeah. How far was the walk? I don't remember. Then how, you just said it was way, way. If you walked from way, way, then it's far. So you could have just said it was far, right? Like, I guess if, if you're going so... If you come from the way... I don't know where the way, way is. But I imagine it's far away. So if you come from the way way, you could easily say that you've walked for quite some distance or like you've traveled some amount, like like some amount of actual distance um, worthy of mention, not just like next door. Like, yeah, the, I, I'm from the way way. <laughs> I came from the way way. It was an arduous journey. It was, way, it was pretty well, far though. Yeah. What would make Okay, so good. Remember. He finally says that. Yeah. How far was the walk? How far I don't remember. It was, way, it was pretty well far though. And why is he looking this way? I don't remember. Why are you looking there? Um, I mean, ob like, there's no obvious camera um, that he can notice. That's unlikely. I doubt that this motherfucker, as slow as he is, would even be astute enough to notice like an oddly placed item like that. He probably wouldn't even be able to tell. But. Yeah, that was um, strange that he looked away like that. He's away, but pretty well far, though. Yeah. He's looking what away. Would make you he's look not looking Chris. I think he's just kind of very nervous. Um, not even looking at Chris directly, just moving around, shifting his body weight. And he's not sitting comfortably either. He's, he's in this very strange, like, he's sitting down. His legs are pointing this way, and yet he's looking this way. So he's not, his, his posture is not even aligned. So he's in this awkward posture that would be uncomfortable to maintain i mean i guess you could but it's like um i don't think 
you wouldn't sit like that in a job interview or something, you know. You would you would face someone with your shoulders and your feet pointing to them, probably, if you were talking to them. Walk so far hmm. on a Sunday morning. I am outside to say hi and meet a friend. Hi and meet a friend. Yeah, but I probably got the wrong address. <laughs> the wrong address. Most likely. Most likely. And why do What's you up with that? your smile? The wrong address. The wrong address. Most likely. Most likely. And Shaman noticed, um, Bass Shaman, I recall, of a video like way back in the day where he noticed that um, this guy has really straight teeth. Like, hella straight teeth. Yeah, but they don't I got the wrong address. Real. The wrong address. Most likely. Look at them. Most likely. And then he said, I mean, it, he looks like, that looks like the teeth of like a fucking cartoon. It looks like puppet teeth. I've also seen comments to where people say it looks like he's wearing someone's skin. He looks fucking ridiculous. Uh, right now, he looks... I think he kind of looks more like an orc from Lord of the Rings. Or maybe like a goblin. I think I think he definitely looks like... He looks like 60% goblin from the pointed ears and the pointed nose and the fucking scary teeth. Um, he looks 60% goblin and like 40% like orc. Just uh, other kind of scary... He looks scary as fuck. He does not look. There's something about him that does look off, and he kind of does look like he's wearing another person's face. Like he looks, he looks fucking scary. And why do you say that? No, because I wrote down seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. <laughs> yeah, seventeen. Uh, so what makes you think you got the wrong address here? Well, <laughs> I'm just guessing. You're he's guessing. not guessing, he's fucking hoping. Who was your friend who you were coming to see? Uh, I believe it would be, be Chloe. 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 Right, well you've got the right address for Chloe. I do? I do, exactly. In oh shit, and that's right, yeah, your smile fucking goes right away when that happens, huh? Right, well this you've got perfect. the right address for Chloe. I do? Yeah. I do? And, and then that fucking face, yeah, that's not a smile. That's quite different than the fucking goofy ass grin. Maybe he thought that he was able maybe he thought he was going to be able to like charm his way out of the situation. He possesses fucking zero charisma. If this guy was a Fallout character, he'd have like fucking he'd ha he'd have like one intelligence. He'd have the fucking uh, idiot savant per perk where you just do like like you open up a toolbox and get like 60 experience. Um so I don't understand it's it's very surprising that in his limited in his even hidden it's it shocks me that his dumbass was able to expect to get out of this scot-free or it shocks me that he thought that he might be able to just talk his way out of it with a cheap fucking grin towards chris how old is chloe uh, okay i believe about <laughs> look there you go 18 18 <laughs> well that would make it and... better for your story if she was 18 18 <laughs> and how old is chloe Ah, okay, I believe about... I keep talking about it. I remember a Nathaniel Trevor video, or I don't know if it was Nathaniel Trevor, it might have been someone else. I recall a video where someone, they put like Alex Trebek in the, and it was like, it was like a, a Jeopardy question, and the question was, how old is Chloe? And then they had, they started playing the dun 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 dun, they started playing the Jeopardy music, and then they had him just like, pausing right here. This shit. And then right after 18? he said it, eh. well, that would make it better for your story. It gave the fucking incorrect answer. Yeah, this is um, this is nonsense. It's also interesting to to reflect on whether he why the long pause there. Did he immediately think of lying, and then did he just hesitate because he didn't have the courage to to go through with the lie? Or was he genuinely thinking <laughs> like, like, is he that fucking stupid to where he's like, fuck how old, like he might've actually forgot, even though uh, Chloe said that she was 12, I believe, which is fucking horrible. Um, he might've actually forgot the age and been like, oh geez, like he might've realized that she was a minor, but he might've just forgot because he's a fucking idiot. He, he, this, he must have some kind of fucking, um, disabilities. And I wouldn't be surprised if he just forgets things all the time. So it's very interesting to, um, I guess we might be able to make a, a more informed, a more informed decision about whether he was maybe more calculating or whether he's just really slow later on. But it's interesting to think about. If she was 18, would Yeah. Because she'd be an yeah. adult then. Yeah, I know. And there wouldn't be a problem with you visiting her. Yeah. But that's not what she told you on the internet, is it? I believe not. You believe not. You believe not. I think you know. Yes. yes. And what yes. did she say? Why would you say? So, okay, he's obviously conniving then. So it's like, 
So it's not just that he's fucking retarded. Like he's he's just fucking conniving. So I guess we can we can at least feel better about like at least he's not like literally like hell of fucking retarded. That would be fucked up to just talk shit on the floor. Wait, not. I think you know. Yes. And, and yeah. there wouldn't be a problem with you visiting her. Yeah. But that's not what she told you on the internet, is it? I believe not. You believe not. You believe not. I think you know. Yes. And yes. Why, Why would you say yes? That's such an uncomfortable, um, weird way to respond. It's just out of tone. It's not. It doesn't match or mirror the same tone and the same casual, conversational way that Chris is speaking to him. He just blurts that fucking out. Yes. I believe not. You believe not. I think you know. Yes. And what age? And he's did tapping she his say, finger. That was interesting. Her. Yeah. But that's not what she told you on the internet. Tapping is it? finger. I believe not. You believe not. I think you know. Yes. And Ooh, when he put his fucking hand down right there, that gesture, you can kind of hear it in the microphone. That's funny. There must be a microphone, like, literally right here in between them. That's probably what's going on inside this flower. There's a microphone. And when he tapped the counter, like, the microphone picked up the tap. That happens. It's fucking annoying. I've had to figure that shit out in some of my videos. Hopefully, that, that doesn't happen that often now. What age did she say? I believe 13. 13. 13. Okay. And how old are you? 30. 30. Still horrible. And your name is? Jerry. Jerry. Jerry, what's your last name? Closest. And why? And he doesn't even look scared. He just, I mean, it's so difficult to, to, to okay. figure out what's going on in his fucking mind. 13. 13. Okay. And how old are you? I mean, he just looks anxious. Uh, perhaps, perhaps a person could extract some, some level of fear just from looking at him. But he just more, he looks more anxious. Like he's just trying, it's like he doesn't understand what's, what's going on. He doesn't, under, he's trying to process. That's what he looks like. He doesn't, it doesn't look like he's processed. The, if he processed the situation, he'd be fucking terrified and he would like clam up, right? Because it's an awful situation. His life is fucked. He would recognize that. And then the severity of that would immediately, it would slap him in the face. But the fact that he's not, He's not, he's not even tripping that hard. It's just like he doesn't even understand what's going on. 30. 30. And your name is? Jerry. 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 Jerry, what's your last name? Closest. And why did you come here, Jerry, to see a 13-year-old girl? I'm you know, outside of maybe starting a friendship, nothing else serious. Starting a friendship. And that's a lie, dude. Come on. He was talking all kinds of sexual bullshit in the chat. So, yeah, he, it's... He's not intelligent enough to to defend himself, but I guess it's fucking it's good and it's funny for us that he's gonna try nonetheless. Like you really do have to be fucking quick witted if you're gonna come up with a defense. Um, that's what attorneys do, right? Like for cross examination, you know, they 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 just rapid fire questions in order to get someone to fuck up or get someone to slip. So it's it's interesting that he thinks that he's capable of playing this game. Obviously, he's not. Yeah. And do you see an issue with a 30 year old man starting a friendship with a 13 year old girl? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I see that. You see why that might be a problem? Yes. You? And do you have children yes. yourself? None. None. Thank God. What made you feel so comfortable coming Damn, into Chris a home? looked at him for a second after that. that might be Fuck. A problem yes. And do you have children yourself? None. None. This. None. None. He stares. Damn. What made you feel so comfortable? I wonder what Chris was thinking in that moment. We'll never know, but that was fuck. Chris was definitely thinking something. You wouldn't just look at someone yeah, and stare at them that. like that. You see why that might be a problem. Yes. You? And do you have children yourself? None. None. Look at that. We'll never know. What made you feel so comfortable coming into a home where there was apparently a 13-year-old girl home alone? I know, outside, maybe wanting to be... I guess, I guess, I guess a mentor or something. Oh, like a mentor, that. a mentor. A mentor in what way? It was mm -hmm. horniness. That's what brought you into the home. It was not altruism or a desire to, to help another human being. This is the old fucking Jim Roush. Uh, I'm just, I'm a fucking helper and that's what I do. I help people. Fucking bullshit, dude. There are a lot of ways. If there was actually a 13-year-old online, you wanted to help them, report them. Um, either tell the ISP or report them in some fucking way. That's that's the only way that you could help them. But any of this bullshit, you're not helping at all. Positive, I would hope. Positive. So how were you going to mentor this 13-year-old girl? Uh, 
Well, the thing that would do would just be all within that I could possibly, you know, get to, I'll give you anybody. Be a big brother or not. Big brother. A a See, that's, you're full of shit. That doesn't even make sense. You couldn't be anybody's big brother. Those two things, they, they are at odds with one another. They don't exist logically all within, in alignment. Look at this. How are you going to mentor this 13-year-old girl? Uh, well, the thing that would do would just be all within that I could possibly, you know, get to, I, I'll give anybody. Be a big brother or not. So the things that you would do to help anybody are very different than the things that you would do if you were trying to help someone by acting like their big brother. Obviously, you could only act like a big brother to someone who is younger than you. So, I mean, to, to act like a big brother to someone is not something that you would do to everyone because you would not act like a big brother to someone who is like 70. If you were fucking 30 years old, it, it, I mean, it just wouldn't, it doesn't work in our culture. We don't do that. We generally um, kind of like, yeah, you just wouldn't act like a, like a big, that's not how it fucking works in our culture, dude. Especially for grown ass men, you don't, you don't do that. Big brother. Aspect, yes. So you're coming here to be the big brother. I would like to try to be one. Dude, when you say you want to be a big brother, that means you're showing up for a kid. That's exactly what that means. So don't say it's, any, it's something that you do for anyone. Well, it's possible. And what kind of things in your mind does a big brother do with his 13 year old adopted sister? Yeah, <laughs> Chris indulges him. How about with homework? How about, How about yeah, homework? right. What fucking homework are you going to help with, dude? You probably wouldn't be able to help her with her fucking first grade math homework. I highly doubt that he would be able to help in any academic capacity for anything that she's doing. Um, there's fucking zero chance that he would be able to help with homework. That's handy. Yeah, that's what handy. Mm, talk about things that's possible. Think, you know, be, you know, bring your brotherly advice. Brotherly, brotherly advice. advice. Wow, he's really committing to this story. Very, it's, I'm fucking shocked that he i'm sure that he knows that he's like not smart he must know that he's not smart it's i i can't uh, unless he's so fucking dumb that he doesn't know how dumb he is like maybe he's just so unaware of his own abilities you'd think that he would assess the situation and say i'm not equipped to handle this like i'm not equipped to keep playing this game with this guy i'm, I'm only fucking myself over you'd think that he would have that kind of internal dialogue and just not say anything just leave or say, am I under arrest? You know, he, there are a lot of ways that he could have avoided this interaction. But it's like he's too fucking stupid to even to even recognize or attempt them. And I mean, well, he's trying to attempt one way to avoid uh, a penalty for his actions. But it's shocking that he thinks that he can actually do it. It just it blows my mind that he that he overestimates his fucking abilities. About things like what? Mm, anything in general. Anything in general. If possible. Now, the kind of brotherly advice you talk about in your chat here. Yeah, he looks all scared too. Now he's starting to look scared. So he's starting to understand that he's fucked. Um, he's no longer smiling. He's no longer giving Chris like a fucking goofball shit eating grin. He's looking, he's looking pretty scary too. He just, he looks really scary. And his ears are pointy as fuck. He just looks straight goblin right here. I just imagine him with like some piercings right here like a little bit of a longer sharper nose and some green skin he'd look like a straight up fucking goblin doesn't seem like the wholesome kind of homework type advice you're talking to me about okay okay you know what i'm referring to what yeah. kind of response is that dude okay okay wholesome kind of homework type advice you're talking to me about okay that's just an acknowledgement so i mean if someone makes an accusation against you that's not even a block, right? There are three ways to respond to like an argument. You could block, you can mitigate, or you could turn. You could either say, no, what you're saying is not, or you could say, yes, what you're saying is true, but it's not as bad as you're saying. You could say, what you're saying is not true. Or you could say, what you're saying is true, but here's why it actually helps out my side. He's doing none of those. He just acknowledges and goes, okay. So, I mean, there's, he's not even capable of any fucking defense. Yet he still persists. He still attempts to talk to Chris for some fucking inexplicable reason. You know what I'm referring to. Yeah. Of course he does. There's some pretty inappropriate stuff in here. There's wildly yes. inappropriate stuff. And the kind of mentoring you're talking about in your chat involves... 
at her doing some sexual things to you? I never said anything about, in that nature. Okay, he's going to well, lie. Her getting on top of you and urinating on you. How? <laughs> well, what kind of response I is that? Anything about, in that nature. Wow. <laughs> well, her getting on top of you and urinating on you. Oh. Well, that's one of the quotes. That's one of like the TCAP quotes that one of my brothers and I do. Like, like that's one of the most common ones that we have. We just go, well, exactly. It's like whenever, whenever someone calls you out for something and you just have nothing to say, it's like, well, like we would say that. Be like, dude, why did you put the fucking milk back in the fridge if there was none in there? <laughs> well, it's so, like that's the kind of thing you respond like. Well, like I don't have a reason for you, but um, so it's ridiculous that he just says that of all things. Well. I got the chat right okay. here, Jerry. I mean, it's a big read chat. It back to you if you'd like. No, you don't have to. That's the second lie. The second lie, and they're these are just outright blatant lies. I wonder if he's going to continue to lie to Chris, even though Chris has revealed the chat. Uh, we don't get to see what Chris is doing as much as Jerry, but. Now Chris has unfurled the chat. He has it present. I could hear the, the paper making noise, so he has the paper out. I wonder if Jerry is still going to continue to lie. It's like, at this point, dude, you might as well not fucking lie. Chris has everything, like, right there in black and white. You talk about... More fear. Whether or not she drinks. You talk about tickling her. Yeah, that. That's weird. But that might have been like I wonder if it was like a uh, like a torture thing. <laughs> Some people are into like tickle torture, I guess. Um, that sounds horrible. That sounds like actual torture to me. I, I hate being tickled. Sometimes I like can't even breathe. Like it, it's difficult. But, like I actually start laughing. I hate it. I hate being tickled. Like I'll fucking fight someone if they tickle me like unintentionally. Um, that's just like a response. I hate being tickled. But yeah, that sounds horrible. Like if someone told me they were going to tickle me, I'd be so fucking annoyed. I would be so defensive too. I'd be like, no, I, I would absolutely be like, no, you're not. Like, and then, you know, it would not happen. But I don't know if the decoy asked. I'm sure the decoy didn't ask for it. Maybe he volunteered it. But I wonder if he was doing it because he thought that it's like something that she would like because she's young. It's just weird. Um, it's especially weird that he's talking about tickling the decoy. Because that's the thing that uh, I think adults do and they don't do it for like a kid They do it just because it's like a form of BDSM. I guess like it's just inflicting something on another person Nothing talk about seeing her cuter side. What's my cuter side if you pull your pants and panties down? That's so horrible I said if I, if I would I would be You said if you would I'm you would be around that panties down I said if I, if I would, I would be. I said if I would, I would be. What does that even mean? I said if I would, I would be. That doesn't mean anything. That's just saying if you would, that yes, you talked about doing it. And if you talked about doing it, then you talked about doing it. That's exactly what you fucking, I, that's just I, restating. I, I, I said if I, I, if I would, I would be. If I would, I would be. That's so stupid. Hey, you said here that you were going to break into this car. Yeah, if I would, I would be. It's like, yeah, no shit, dude. I was trying to dance around that. You, you were know, not. You were trying to dance around it. How we're did that work to, out for you? Trying to dance with it. Well. Wow. Well, another wow. Skipped over it, I believe. <laughs> the third <laughs> lie. You did not skip over it. Why is he continuing to lie? There's no chance. Chris has already busted him on two fucking lies. And yet he persists with his deceit. I don't even understand this. You think that he would be smart enough to realize that it's futile at this point. But um, he really is a fucking idiot. I don't want to get that far into that side of a chat. That's, you didn't want to get too far on that side of a chat. Yeah. No, you, you did. You talk about what kind of clothes you'd like her to wear. Tank top. A micro mini skirt. She asks about panties, and you say, you can't go without that? That's oddly specific. So he's imagining um, the decoy with a micro mini skirt, all this other stuff. It's horrible. I'm not going to, but he, the way that he's imagined it, he's spent so much time thinking about it. He's rehearsed it in his mind. 
psychologically, the more time that we spend thinking about something, the easier it becomes to do. A lot of these serial killers, like they start off just with fantasies, um, right? That's how before they actually become serial killers when they're young and whatnot. It all starts as fantasies. They have vivid, rich fantasy lives where they they see themselves doing all these things and then they fantasize about it and they think about it and they saturate their whole existence with it, with it. And then eventually they do it. And because they've spent so much time thinking about it, it's like it normalizes it to them. It's a lot easier for them to do it. So the fact that he has this whole getup that he's uh, constructed in his mind, it just goes to show that he's he's really thought about his actions. He's really thought about what she would look like, and he was excited. Yeah, uh, he was like running to get in. So that further goes to show how fucking sick this guy is, how dark he is. I mean, you basically ask her to urinate on you. <laughs> to urinate on you. Oh my god. Right? Alright. No response. He says right. <laughs> no response. Dude. That's a torpedo. I mean, you basically ask her to urinate on you. That's such a flex. Right? Alright. Right. Is that appropriate talk to have with a 13 year old girl? He's no, kind of having not. a look of fear now. That was a fearful look. To urinate on you. So now he's looking fearful. Now he's finally, it only took fucking six minutes into the conversation, but it's like, now he's finally starting to understand the gravity of the situation. As Chris is thumbing through this fucking long chat log. I mean, you basically ask her to urinate on you. Right? All right. Right, exactly. Is that appropriate talk? Nope. To have with a 13 year old girl? Nope, it's not. Nope, it's then not. Why is not thinking too clearly? You never think it you too do clearly. Do this sort of thing often? No. No. <laughs> like I said at the beginning with the Zans, like with the Xanax, I used to have, uh, I was thinking about making a video on this particular subject. I've done a lot of stuff. I've done a lot of drugs. Um, not meth and heroin. Those are really the only two that I've avoided kind of consciously. But... Yeah, like, th the way that this guy acts and talks, he just reminds me of, like, what it would be like to take, like, fucking two bars and then just, like, go out. Or, like, when you're hella fucked up on, like, 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 Valium or, like, Clonopin or, like, any other kind of benzo. He just looks like he's benzoed the fuck out. And he kind of acts like it just because you're spacey and you're slow and, like, the whole way, way, way. Like, that that's something that a person, like, who's fucking, like, on five Valium would actually do. That's how they would probably actually respond. So it's kind of everything about him, like he says he wasn't thinking clearly. His fucking waking conscious life would be like a normal person taking like fucking three out of van and just like waking up and taking three out of van and like going about the day. Then they'd be on the same level. Uh, his mind must be a foggy, a foggy haze of confusion and not understanding things. He must understand very little about the world as he, as he moves about it. Um, just it takes him so long to process what is going on in front of him. So he's like, well, I just won't even concern myself with it. So I suppose this is the first staring in silence, just fucking awkwardly staring. Time you've done anything like this. Yes. He can't even think. It's like he, he continues to sit, but he can't think of a cogent defense. He says nothing and he just awkwardly stares. He tries to refute, he, he weakly tries to refute some of Chris's claims, and then he just backs down, like once Chris starts reading them back verbatim and says, you don't have to read them. But saying it's the first time really doesn't matter because you're here and you were willing to do it. Absolutely, yeah. So that really doesn't get you off the hook, does it? No. No, no it doesn't. What do you do for a living, Jerry? I'm a park attendant. A park attendant. And presumably in that position, you have contact with teenage kids, girls, and boys. Probably. Mm. Probably has contact. Well, he might, he might see. if you, Dude, if you work at a park, yeah, you're going to see children. You're going to see kids. You got to screen motherfuckers like this who, who work in jobs like that. You really have to. You wouldn't think about it, right? Like, we wouldn't think about it, but fuck. All uh, at the legal age, I guess 18. No, you don't so just work with people. You're full of shit, you dude. You have contact with teenage kids, girls, and boys. Mm, all uh, at the legal of age, I guess 18. 
If you work so, in a park, then you're going to have contact with people who are of all ages, seniors, uh, 30 year olds, like, dude, you're going to not just people who are 18. When you say park, you're going to see very little people who are 18, probably, um, unless they're just like fucking like hoodlum asses who are just chilled, like blazing it at a park or something. Attended, what exactly do you do? Oh, man, I go around pick up trash and stuff like that. In public parks? Yeah. In what city? LA. That means you work with, that means that you don't work with kids, but you absolutely would see them often in your job. Um, hope, yeah, he better have been fired. He, well, I'm sure that he was fired, but hopefully um, they do background checks for people who work jobs like that to, to make sure fuckers like this and don't so you're end in the up public doing it. And you're exposed to kids. Exactly. Pretty much. Is Why you, a... See, and so another lie, it's like the fourth fucking lie. You said people who are 18, and then Chris goes, UK, so you were exposed to kids, and he says, pretty much. He continues to lie, even though Chris has called him out every fucking time that he's done it. Appropriate behavior for somebody who is out in the public and, and has contact with children, teenagers. No, it's not. Absolutely not. So what of should happen to you, Jenny? Yeah. Well, well, exactly. So what should happen to you? Well, this fucking idiot does. He should. You. Sh your proper response should be. Well, hopefully, I'll learn my lesson. I'll just go home and uh, that that would be the the response if you were like looking out for your own self interest. So, like if you wanted to, if you were like a keen negotiator, that would be the response that you would give. But he's just like, well, because he knows what he's done is fucked. He knows that it's immoral, and he knows that he shouldn't exist in society. Like he knows that, and and. and so once again, it's like, do you not understand? Are you just too afraid to like go through with the responses in your mind? Like, why do you say, well, like there's nothing to be gained from just saying, well, you dealt with like, on the and that, that, well, that's probably not something that he says in his daily life. Like as often as he says it frequently in this interaction, I'm sure. Cause that's not like a slang. That's not something that people normally say. Wow. <laughs> people who say that say it because of this fucking show. We, we say that shit because of this interaction, but it's like, that's not like uh it's not a colloquial thing to say. Like you don't just go, wow, all the time. I'm illegal. No, it's not. So what should happen to you, Jenny? Now, <laughs> wow, you dealt with like on an illegal extent of the law. Interesting, you stepping up. Wow, hey, we're in agreement there. We're in agreement. Did you bring anything with you today? No, anything nope. for Chloe? No, nope. you're sure. Positive, he well, says things so weird. No. Did you bring? Who is out in the public and, and has contact with children, teenagers. Mouth, mouth is closed. Mouth. Now his mouth mouth is so closed. Yes. Now Wow. Mouth is open. You dealt with like on an illegal Open. Extent of the law? It should be dealt with on a dot 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 legal extent. He can't even formulate a fucking sentence. That was incoherent. Um we can you know when we hear a sentence like that, it doesn't make sense in and of itself. But like our brains, we, we, we formulate it into a coherent sentence. So it's like we process it in a way that makes sense. And we're like, oh, okay, this is what he meant. He means I should face the full penalty of the law. But that's not what he said. What he said is fucking has contact with children. It's gibberish. No, it's not. So what should happen to you, Jenny? Now, you dealt with like on an illegal extent of the law. Be dealt with on a legal extent of the law. <laughs> exactly. Like, that's an incoherent statement if, uh, in and of itself. But we, the listener, with the brain, like, we process it in a way that makes sense. Did you bring anything with you today? No. Anything for Chloe? No. Why sure? are you... Positive. <laughs> nope. Nope. It's positive. Not. And those are just awkward. He's blurting out his responses very quickly it's just an awkward way to speak that's not that's not something that a person who is in a comfortable state would would say they wouldn't speak like that there's a couple things you need to know i'm chris hansen with dateline nbc we're doing a show <laughs> your life is over who try to meet young teens look at that no there's no reaction like no reaction he just looks he just hansen. looks nothing moves well, in his body there's a couple things you need to know just his eyes. He's blinking. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. We're doing a story on He looks. He sees. No movement. Young no move. Meeting. Barely movement of his. Anything else you'd like to say? A little eye darting around. We'd like to hear it. If not, you're on the Shakes his head. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he 
He must not have even understood when they were coming at everything that happens in his life. It's like he just has to process things so slowly. Fuck. I wonder what that's I wonder what that's even like. That kind of trips me out to imagine what to imagine how he perceives reality. Um, it totally trips me out. It just must take longer. I, I can't even understand, right? That's interesting. It's like, how do people who are like geniuses perceive reality, right? Like how did Albert Einstein perceive reality? And then conversely, like how does a person who's hella disabled, how do they perceive reality? That's a fucking trip. Dude, hey, could it be possible to ask if I can keep being anonymous or anonymous. exposed? <laughs> very I I anonymous? interesting choice of words. It's not, you're obviously free to go. Okay. Feel free to leave. It's it's wow. Those are I guess the two most intelligent words that he fucking said: anonymous and exposed. Exactly. Uh, yeah. The the comparison. You want anonymity. You're getting exposed, bro. That's how it goes. We have made no decisions as to who's going to be in the store yet. Just... But you're definitely. Okay. It. That's what you should have said. You should say we've made no decisions, but your fucking scary ass is definitely going to be in it. But you're free to go. I understand. You understand. Yeah, and he stares. So once again, so. Okay. Silence. Awkward. But you're free to go. But you're free to go. Chris looks at him. And nods. I understand. Yeah, that's right. The most somber fucking walk. He's not power walking anymore. He's dragging ass now. Although he's walking very strange. He is power walking, kind of. Dude, what's wrong with you? He's so socially unaware. Yes, we get to see him tackled. Yes. <laughs> they have fucking guns drawn. <laughs> That's fucking great. You're fucked now. Here comes his friend. They have to take his hat off. <laughs> Why are you responding so calm? What the fuck? Is this going to be temporary or <laughs> the guy says just temporary? You want to go home quickly? No. <laughs> and then the other cat goes, "You got some place to go?" No. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> exactly. Of course, you don't have anywhere else to go. Um, and you won't have anything else to do in jail. You'll just get to sit there and fucking be a retard on your bunk. That was Jerry Wayne Martin Kosis. Uh, he really is a scary guy. There's no telling what someone like this, someone who's just so distant and who seems so detached. These are the people who you just can't predict. It's like people who just do horrible shit and you wouldn't even see it coming. And because they act so fucking weird, like maybe it wouldn't even matter to him. Like maybe he could just like take a human life and not even give a shit just because he might not even understand. Like he might not even be capable of empathy or compassion. You just don't know, um, and especially people who, people who, act in a in a supremely detached manner like this, who are just like super detached. It's like you don't even know what he's capable of, and you don't even know what he's thinking. It's just impossible to tell. So yeah, that was uh, that was this fucker. Until next time, everyone.